Hi, we're going to talk about PKA and PKB. We use PKA a lot more, but of course on a test, you'll, there's a chance that you can see the PKB. Um, now, PKA is super handy. Um, you'll even see this um, not only in a laboratory like chemists or biochemists, but also in hospitals. You'll hear doctors talking about, well, what's the PKA? And they're maybe talking about blood pH. Um, so we use this to report and compare KA. Uh, and it's really the strength of an acid. Um, you'll recall the larger the Ka, the more product favored, the stronger the acid. Um, now this is a logarithmic scale, just like pH. In fact, here is our formula, pKa equals negative log of Ka. Now because it's logarithmic, um, the numbers, the larger the, um, the acid, the larger the Ka, stronger the acid, <gasps> the smaller the pKa. Same thing with pH, right? The stronger the uh, acid, the lower the pH. A really strong acid has a pH of one. Compared to a weaker acid, might have a pH of four. Um, but the concentration at a pH of one is going to be much higher. So you have to kind of be careful with logarithmic scales that you get that straight. The bigger the Ka, the smaller the pKa. And also remember, as you move numbers like from a four to a seven, that's a factor of 10 difference because log is base 10. If you have questions on this, look at my pH scale and it, it talks more about that base 10. Okay, uh, let's see here. So really, really big takeaway. I'm gonna put a star on this. I said it once, definitely worth repeating. The smaller the pKa, the stronger the acid. Um, so I have three examples of acids here for you. There's propanolic acid, acetic acid, and formic acid. Here are their Ka's. Um, notice I'm always most interested in those exponents um, because when we're talking about logs, especially it's those number of tens, the zeros that we're looking at. Um, so I have 1.3 times 10 to the minus five, 1.8 times 10 to the minus five. Ooh, this is barely a little bit bigger than this one. And then over here, our formic acid is 1.8 times 10 to the minus four. So if I look just right there and ask you, which one's the strongest acid, which one's the strongest acid? It's this one right here. The bigger the number, the stronger the acid. The bigger the number, the more that acid ionizes. Remember, these are all weak acids. They're not a part of our list of seven strong acids, which means these partially ionize. They only a little bit break apart. It's usually around like, three to five percent that they'll actually break apart and ionize. Um, so the more it ionizes, the more product favored it is, the bigger the number, the stronger the acid. Um, so now like I took all three of these and I just put it into the calculator and did the negative log of Ka. So I did the negative log of 1.3 times 10 to the minus five, there it is, 4.89. Negative log of 1.8 times 10 to the minus five, 4.74 and negative log of um, the 1.8 times 10 to the minus four, 3.74. So you'll notice here, you know formic acid is the strongest acid because it has the largest Ka and it has the smallest pKa. It's a really big takeaway. The smaller the pKa, the stronger the acid. I also could put here, the larger the Ka, the Ka. And so I could do a great big arrow so this is going to be increasing strength of that acid. Um, so again, I'm going to say, it, I think this is my fourth or fifth time. The bigger the Ka, the smaller the pKa. So the smaller the pKa, the stronger the acid. Um, now reverse that. Um, we could talk about pKb. Um, so if I'm talking pKb, it's going to be the um, larger the Kb, the stronger the base the smaller the pKb. Um, so same logic is just shifting your brain from an acid to a base. Um, if I change all this to bases, the bigger the Kb, the stronger the base, the smaller the pKa, or pKb, the stronger the base. Okay, nice. Good work, have a wonderful day, thanks.